Hello Perfect Beauties, my name is Daisy and today on the Acne channel, I'm going to be talking to you guys about microneedling in Asian skin. Now, I know I talk a lot about microneedling and how it works, but I haven't really gone towards the scientific part of it. So I actually pulled up some research papers and documents and I spent the past few months like reading and researching and asking some of my doctor friends and those in medicine to kind of translate some of it because it's actually really, really difficult to read and it's like hundreds and hundreds of page pages. But there's actually a lot of uh, clinical trials and studies proving the effectiveness of microneedling in Asian skin. And as you guys know, I started Banish, which is basically a microneedle uh, roller called the Banisher, with the vitamin C serum, which is gonna be kind of the, um, in the study they say they put like a acidic topical solution on there, or a, they, they call it a topical solution, so that's kind of what it is, a vitamin C serum um, on the skin, and it has worked really, really well for me, and Although we have not conducted our own clinical studies, uh, we kind of base our research and facts around other uh, clinical trials that have been done or clinical studies that have been done by um, doctors and dermatologists. So there's one in particular, and it was the, the study is called Microneedling for a Acne Scars in Asian Skin Type in um, Effective Low-Cost Treatment Modality. So I will put the link of the article if you really are nerdy or have you know a few extra hours to spare, you can actually go and read through that article. But I've kind of summarized it for you guys and hopefully it'll help you better understand exactly how this trial was conducted and what the results were. So the reason why a lot of these doctors are doing microneedling is because um, there's a lot of approaches that have been used for acne scarring like lasers and chemical peels but however a lot of them are pretty invasive and it's actually very very expensive to achieve the goal of getting rid of acne scars um, so you know getting a laser done is really expensive getting a chemical peel done is expensive and doing it at home is actually quite dangerous because I have done chemical peels and it's basically burned my entire skin off and you know it was just an accident where i kept it on too long and for literally two weeks i like could not go out in public because my face looked like it had a burn so a lot of doctors are actually you know going into microneedling and figuring out hey you know is this a better um you know way to to treat acne scars than the other ways out there and maybe it's better for our patients because it's also cheaper to provide. And a lot of the studies are done on different kinds of patients, but what about people with Asian skin type? Because I think Asian skin, we are a little bit more yellow and maybe brown based of a skin type. So for me, every time I get a pimple, it leaves a scar and the scar is very, very pigmented. So what they did for this, um, treatment and trial is they had 36 patients so they had 26 female and 10 men um, and they used it for post acne atrophic facial scars and these patients they went under five sittings so they went under five like different um, derma roller treatments um, and they used um, topical anesthesia so for us in the vanish kit we don't uh, put in numbing cream or whatever because uh, our banishers I don't believe are like painful enough for people to get kind of the anesthesia with it. But for these doctors, if you want to get these microneedling treatments done at your doctor's office, you need to, um, they usually use like up to four millimeters of needles and they'll put an anum, like your, your face, like numb it uh, because that is really painful. So they did this in monthly intervals and they did this, they also recorded the improvement by comparing the treatment at the end from the previous month's sitting. So they, you know, it's very scientific when you're doing a clinical trial and like writing this huge research paper, you gotta like have controls and really good documentation. So they had a scale from zero to 10 on how good or bad the acne scar was. And um, at the end of the study, 30 people completed the study and the group ranged from 18 years old to 40 year, years old. And um, that's how they kind of completed it. So after these five treatments, there was a statistically significant decrease 
in mean acne scar assessment score from 11.7 to 6.5 after five sittings of the roller and derma roller treatments. So that's big, that's from 12 to six almost. Um, and they also showed by um, photographic evaluation, 50 to 75 improvement in the majority of the patients. And so they took this on a visual analog, analog scale or VAS, and this analysis showed good response in 22 of the patients and then excellent response in four of the patients at the end of the study. So hopefully I can be a, the excellent response or you can. Um, and so the procedure was well tolerated by most of the patients and the only complications noted were post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation in five patients and tram track scarring in two patients. So the thing with tram track scarring is that can happen if you are not careful when using the banisher. So what I recommend is rolling it one way, lifting it up, and then rolling it again. I think sometimes what people do is they'll just roll it back and forth really, really hard, and that can cause like the tram, tram track kind of scarring. So basically, this research paper showed that there is great satisfactory results in um, people with Asian skin type, and um, there's very, very little like side effects other than the ones that we just said from the patients. Um, and so, what else can we learn from this study? Well, that derma rolling is a really, really great treatment, and in my opinion, probably the best treatment for acne scars. I know that um, you know there's not a lot of talk about the derma rolling and um, you know microneedling, and I think part of it has to do with. Um, a lot of cosmetic surgery centers can make more money if they prescribe, you know, a laser treatment uh, for five thousand dollars, and you know, and banish kit for sixty nine dollars, um, because it's more of a monetary thing. But the thing about also about acne scarring is that it is very very hard to get rid of, because it is kind of permanent damage to the skin. So don't expect like amazing results like baby smooth skin but you can definitely see an, an improvement and I think that's all you have to like expect you can't expect yourself to just have like really really amazing skin all of a sudden um, you have to keep doing it and as this study um, showed the patients did it once a month for five treatments so it definitely took five months for them to see those results so thank you all so much for watching and I hoped that this study has helped you make your decision in figuring out whether to try uh, a treatment like the Banish Kit at home. And honestly, if like the Banish Kit works really well for you, but you want to get more results, you can definitely contact um, you know your doctor or dermatologist to see if they perform you know the like the more medical grade treatments in their offices. So thank you all so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I post a video relating to acne every Tuesdays and Saturdays. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.